On New Year's Eve in China, it is one of the favorite activities among young people. Many people take to the streets to celebrate the new year together, and shopping malls are crowded with people everywhere. The streets are so densely packed that it's hard to move. Pedestrian streets all over the country are packed with people. However, in most places, fireworks and firecrackers are prohibited, so many people choose to release helium balloons into the air at midnight to welcome the new year. On the streets of Jianghan in Wuhan, two balloon explosions occurred due to contact with high voltage lines, narrowly avoiding a stampede incident. A first hand witness mentioned that she and her friends happened to be right under the high voltage lines when the first explosion occurred. People were screaming and running in fear. She and her friends quickly sought refuge at the entrance of a store. Then, there was another explosion. The lights on both sides of the entire street went out instantly, and the power lines collectively tripped. Some online comments described the fear at that moment, with one person mentioning feeling like their soul had left their body. There was a genuine fear of some unexpected accident happening. According to information, Wuhan's Jianghan Road pedestrian street is a nationally renowned century-old commercial street. In December 2018, it was selected as one of the first 11 pilot transformation areas in the country, being the only pedestrian street in the central China region to undergo such a transformation. After the renovation in 2020, the area introduced 83 first store brands. In 2021, Jianghan Road was approved as a national level cultural and tourism consumption aggregation area. It's on fire. Quick, look, there's a fire here. Can you see it? On the night near Paying Bridge in Tonking Town, Fengshan County, Meizhou City, Guangdong Province, a mountain fire was triggered due to the New Year's Eve fireworks. It was subsequently extinguished, and fortunately, it did not escalate into a major wildfire. The police apprehended a man on the street for setting off fireworks, and it seemed that he was not aware of the seriousness of the situation. In areas of China where fireworks are prohibited, being caught can lead to detention, usually for around three to five days. This reflects a contradiction in the process of urbanization in China. After all, setting off fireworks between tall buildings in urban areas is a highly dangerous activity. Of course, there are also clever individuals who, in order to evade police capture, choose to set off fireworks on the rooftops, adding a festive atmosphere to the New Year's Eve. Due to the large number of people, even if the police manage to reach the rooftop, it's often challenging to identify the person responsible. In the end, such cases often go unresolved. Certainly, in places where fireworks are permitted, the display of fireworks in China is truly astonishing. Rows of fireworks are rapidly ignited, resembling the outbreak of a war with its spectacular and awe-inspiring scenes. In some places, the countdown activities on large screens were cancelled to prevent crowd gatherings. This has indeed left the originally excited crowds feeling somewhat awkward. At one avenue in Shenzhen, Guangdong, facing the pitch black screen, someone complained online, saying, We came here for New Year's Eve, wanting to watch the screen countdown and feel the New Year atmosphere. Now, the government has taken this measure, which seems quite unfair. The crowd that squeezed for hours couldn't help but burst into awkward laughter. Despite this, it didn't stop our enthusiasm for the countdown activity. Everyone shouted out loud, Happy New Year! In Changsha, Hunan, one moment the large screen was playing variety shows from Hunan TV, and the next moment, it was abruptly turned off. This kind of action truly left the New Year's Eve crowd in a very awkward situation. Some people chose to celebrate New Year's Eve by attending a concert, but chaos ensued at the New Year's concert held in Changlong, Guangzhou. A large number of attendees were shouting for ticket refunds. It was reported that tickets were priced at over 500 yuan, approximately $70, each, but due to organizational issues, a significant number of people were unable to enter the venue and were blocked outside the gates. Some netizens mentioned that the organizers failed to make proper personnel arrangements. They waited in line for over an hour, only to be prevented from entering despite available seats inside. The individuals who couldn't enter the venue had no choice but to demand ticket refunds. However, the outcome of this incident has not been found in Chinese media sources. After the New Year's Eve celebrations concluded, the subway system had already shut down, leaving large groups of students unable to return to their schools. 
Some even had to spend the night at the subway stations. They finally could go home around 6 in the morning and return to their dormitories. Chanting the countdown for New Year's Eve was filled with joy, but the experiences afterward returning home were disheartening. However, the most heartbroken individuals on this New Year's Eve might be the millions who traveled from Shenzhen to Hong Kong to watch the fireworks. Many found themselves stranded in Hong Kong, stuck at border crossings, facing a dilemma. It's not entirely their fault, as a lot of people ended up sleeping on the streets of Hong Kong last night due to the high cost of accommodation. It was reported that over 300,000 people came to Hong Kong to watch the fireworks, but rumors circulated that they only paid for the subway fare and even brought their own water. For those who traveled from Shenzhen to Hong Kong for the new year, they could be considered the most unfortunate group. Some netizens reported that at 5 a.m., after coming to Hong Kong for the new year, they found out they couldn't return to Shenzhen. Over 10,000 tourists were stranded all night, with no additional buses or subway services, and taxi drivers increasing their prices to a thousand yuan for an 8-kilometer ride. Taking a bus, law enforcement officers maintaining order reportedly said if you don't understand Cantonese, don't come to Hong Kong, a statement that left many astonished. The experience of coming to Hong Kong for the new year has become a major problem for some, significantly diminishing their impression of Hong Kong, and they may not consider coming again in the future. Due to the large number of people, according to data from the Hong Kong Tourism Board as of 10 a.m. on December 31st, 223,000 people had come to Hong Kong. These individuals originally intended to return after watching the fireworks, but the Hong Kong government underestimated the number of visitors from mainland China. They had not planned to stay overnight in Hong Kong but rather intended to return overnight. This situation led to a paralyzed transportation system, with a large crowd stranded at border crossings, persisting until the early morning of the next day. When people attempted to leave Hong Kong through restricted areas, they were met with police obstruction. We really don't want to detain everyone here. I understand that nobody wants this situation. Let me explain why you can't cross here. This area is restricted. If you attempt to cross here illegally, we have to apprehend you. We don't want this situation to occur. Do you all understand? The reason you can't cross here is not to make things difficult for you, but because this is a restricted area. No one wants to be a smuggler here, right? Okay, now move over there and form a queue. If you don't want to queue up right now, that's okay, but you still need to move over there. One by one, come on, one by one. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. I understand everyone's feelings. Because the vehicles are waiting for clearance on that side, and there are so many people today, I really don't know what's going on. I'm explaining this to you gently. Please don't be so anxious and agitated. I understand, I understand your feelings. Hong Kong media has questioned the large-scale detention incident. Prior to the incident, the Hong Kong government did not issue any warnings, only the transport department issued an alert. Nevertheless, this led to widespread mainland Chinese tourists being stranded across various districts in Hong Kong from 1 a.m. onwards. The administrative capability of the Hong Kong government has been questioned, and doubts have been raised about when the 24-hour open border plan proposed by the National Development and Reform Commission of China will be implemented. After the fireworks on the bank of the Chiantang River in Hangzhou, it was a mess. A netizen posted a video, asking if the fireworks were beautiful and then showing the aftermath with litter all over the ground. They commented, is this your belief? Thinking that setting off fireworks and posting, may everything go well, on your friend's circle will make everything better is truly laughable. What I see is just in the dead of winter, causing trouble for the sanitation workers working in the cold wind. You may be happy, but do you know how long it takes for them to clean up in the freezing wind? If you really want the new year to be better, the first thing to do is to discipline yourself. Start with small things, clean up the garbage, learn to consider others, and it's a thousand times stronger than setting off a few fireworks and posting on your friend circle. I don't know if anyone else has interesting opinions. Feel free to comment and let us know. Alright, that's it for today's video. For those who like this kind of video, please subscribe. Happy New Year!